We got a call in October that there was an animal in a ditch inside of clear plastic garbage bag. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Hi. It was apparent that something happened to her. I don't know if she was strangled or something, but she had bloodshot eyes, wasn't able to walk. Um, she was very small. We took her immediately to the vets to have her checked out. <laughs> Chancy has the opportunity to help veterans with PTSD. Um, anybody wheelchair or not wheelchair bound, help them turning on lights or grabbing things or opening things for them, assisting them um, emotionally and physically the best that she will be trained, hopefully, as long as she graduates and does well here, which I don't think she'll have a problem. She's got a huge heart and gets along with others. She's going to become a stable dog, and that is any environment where any dog walks up to her, no matter what, she's going to be cool. Right. And we're going to train her in such a way that she can be off leash and never leave her owner's side, especially if it's an owner who's in a wheelchair. She's going to learn how to pick everything up for that owner if that owner needs her. And um, if the owner needs her to turn on lights for her. So what our service dogs do is they provide companionship, help these people with um, stress and overcoming stress and um, going out into public, um, visiting people, um, doing everyday chores. Um, they help them uh, get through nighttime incidents of PTSD, like opening doors and opening drawers, retrieving things. They also help them, remind them to take medications. Um, there's a lot of different tasks that they can help them do. And we're excited today to have this collaboration with the Manatee County Animal Services. And any collaboration with dog trainers or anyone in the dog world is going to help us grow and be the best we can and serve a local community. Now we're a national organization, but anytime we have a local dog like this, it'll go to a, a local vet police officer, EMS, or somebody from police suffering with PTSD. Our preferred breed to work with is a Belgian Malinois. So when we found out about this dog, we knew that this, very, this could be our first and best opportunity to showcase what we can do with an organization that's already running in our community, that's already doing a fantastic job, and with somebody like Tanya who has a heart to look for the opportunities and to seize them. We'll be able to also document what's going on with Chauncey and, and see an end result of a well-trained dog. We already know that she's gonna be easy to work with. 